Hello painters! Uh, today's video is going to be of this adorable little fox um, from Susan Dudgeon from the Free Reference Photos group and she calls him Kevin and he's really adorable. He's kind of, he has some interesting coloration so um, I'm going to be kind of doing this, making it up as I go along. I should probably mess with the colors first but but I don't want to because it's you know it's a piece of paper and if I don't like it I can go back and change the colors anyway so first thing I'm doing today is taping around the edge of my paper and I'm painting on a block of 7 inch by 10 inch Baohan cold pressed um, Bauhang Academy cold press 100% um, cotton paper and if there's one thing um, I can really heartily recommend that you do when you're painting with watercolor is get good quality 100% cotton paper. Um, I usually paint on cold press. This would actually work really well on rough press because it's a fluffy critter and fluffy critters work well on, on rougher paper. Okay, so now I'm taping my reference photo that I've printed out of my misbehaving printer, which is not, it's not printing great color right now. Um, but you can see it's good enough that I can, I can trace around the edges um, with a ballpoint pen, I go over, I go over the reference photo with a ballpoint pen, and then I can see where I've traced already. And actually, about not well, <laughs> there was about a ten-minute gap in there where I realized I could not find a sheet of transfer paper, and uh, I cut that out so you don't have to stare at nothing. Um, I'm using Arteza brand transfer paper. It's basically like carbon paper of the olden days, which eh, a lot of you probably won't remember. Okay, so I'm tracing around the ears, around the nose, um, just the basic outlines and the and some of the markings where the fur is, but. If you get the basic markings, you don't really need to put in a lot of the lines. This time I'm tracing a little bit darker than I usually do so that I'm hoping you can see, the, you can still see the lines when I start painting over. I do try to get as much detail as possible around the eyes. And if you don't have a printer that functions, <laughs> mine, mine's, mine's barely functional, but it's good enough for this. Um, it's an expensive Epson uh, G Clay quality printer that's been having conniptions lately. But if, if you don't have a printer that works, um, uh, if you have like a, a laptop computer, you can actually 
you know, turn it to the brightest setting and lay a piece of paper over it and gently trace that way. And there are apps for um, cell phones and tablets where you can project the picture onto a piece of paper. So you can just, um, it's, I don't know, we, we built a stand for that purpose out of plywood and uh, plumbing pipes so that the phone can sit on a stand and it will <coughs> hold it at the right height. It's a little bit height adjustable. Not the easiest thing, but it works. And it can sit on there and project onto the piece of paper below it. And then you can outline it with a pencil or whatever you want to use to transfer the markings. Anyway, now I'm going around the legs as best as I can. I can't really see what's going on with the, the fox's um, left hind leg up there. I can see the front leg. The hind leg is... <laughs> we'll figure it out later when I'm painting. I'll probably just cover up the whole area with some fluffy fur. They did make a line drawing, so you can use that to trace. Some people transfer um, the reference photo using a grid, and that's something you can do if you don't have a printer as well. You can overlay a grid on your photo on your computer and trace that way. When I first started painting um, watercolor pets, I would um, I would lay my my reference photo on a light box, and then lay a piece of paper over it and make sure it's all taped down well, and use watercolor pencils to do the outlines, and then you don't have black lines in the background, and you can wet the watercolor pencil, and it. Uh, it it spreads out and it looks like watercolor, but still leaves some of the darker lines. And it's kind of a nice effect. Also, if you have a good set of watercolor pencils, there's a zillion colors that you probably don't have with the paint. Anyway. I'm thinking I'm almost done with the line drawing here. Look at that. It's it's fairly visible. And I'm gonna tape that above on my easel where I can see it. I also look at at the picture on my computer because it's better has better color. Anyway, that's all for this video and I will see you in the next one where we paint.